KP classes dedicated to excellence. In the future. Uh, now coming to the admission processes, how to how to proceed from here if you have qualified gate and if you know your gate uh, uh, rank already, what can you expect? What are the opportunities you have? Let us have a discussion on that. As far as admission process, firstly, so I'll be talking it tier wise. We'll first target discuss about IITs and the options you have in it, then NITs, then the other exams and colleges. So that's how we'll be going about. I think it will be now uh, at a, a, everyone at the personal level might lie in some band, some might be eligible or can, can expect getting into IIT, some into NIT, some into other exams as well, I'm sure. At a personal level, you can think about it. But in today's session, I'll have an overall discussion on all the opportunities. Starting with IITs first, the admission into IITs will ultimately be given to you through COAP, that is Common Offer Acceptance Portal. Remember, COAP is just, now many students are confused how COAP works, how CCMD works. So let me discuss the details on it. COAP, firstly, it is not an application portal. It is just an acceptance portal. So what is the difference between an application portal and acceptance portal? Application portal is something where you apply for a post or apply for a college. On COAP, you cannot apply for any college. So you first need to register. So the registration onto COAP portal is already live at this point of time when we are having this session. So you first need to uh, register on COAP portal. You will get a COAP registration number. That COAP registration number will be useful for applying into various IITs, IISE and all the other colleges which are uh, listed under COAP portal. So uh, first get, re get registered. It's a free registration on COAP you should get that COIP number. Using that, you'll need to apply into various IITs. So uh, then what is the use of the COIP portal? Uh, if you're not applying through it, you'll get offers over there. So once you apply into various IITs in the next few days, so some IITs have already released the dates for application and the portal is already like, for instance, IIT Delhi, IIT Guwahati and IIT Bombay also have released the application portals, respective application portals, and they have released the notification and dates for application. You can check out their individual websites. Uh, we'll talk about some important dates in the due course of time and the courses also we will discuss. But you'll need to individually apply into these IITs. For example, if you want to get into construction management at IIT Delhi, you'll need to go to the website of IIT Delhi, open the application portal of PG admissions of IIT Delhi, apply through that portal. When you apply on the portal of IIT Delhi, they'll ask you for the COAP number. So first you'll get the COAP number then apply into colleges. You can apply into any number of IITs at the same time. You can apply into IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, various courses at Kharagpur and Roorkee. Uh, so the, the, uh, we'll talk about the important dates, but on COAP portal, you'll get the offers. Once you have applied, whatever offers you're going to get, that will be reflected on COAP portal where you'll need to accept your, your suitable or the course which you think is suitable for you. So that's about COAP in brief. It's not an application portal. It is just an acceptance portal where you'll get the offers of IITs. Uh, so you'll need to separately after COAP also, you need to separately apply into the respective IITs for your MTech admissions. Do not forget, uh, do, don't think that, okay, I got my COAP number. now. I'm done. I have, uh, I'll wait for application. No, the application portals are already live for some IITs. Uh, or next week, within next week, all the, one, because scorecard also is important. So probably in the next week, once your gate scorecard comes out uh, on 28th of March, then all these portals of IITs will start. So in the first week of April, typically, almost all the IITs will start their application. So you can uh, start applying it to them individually. Uh, Sinduja, yes, COAP registration is already started. COAP website, you can open, there's a button for register over there. You can click onto it. Uh, uh, sometimes the page might not be responsive. So you will need to, uh, sometimes it is not active or responsive. You'll need to wait. So uh, do not worry, you still have time, but keep checking out. Don't wait more than April 1st week. So within April 1st week, because typically all the IITs start their application. So that's about the IITs and the COAP number and application into individual IITs. Uh, so like I said, providing the COAP registration number is mandatory for all the uh, institutes of, that is typically IITs. Uh, is COAP applicable for MTech programs, M-Design and MRC as well? Uh, Suma, it is for 
all the courses in IITs, including MR, M Plan, M Tech. Uh, M Design course generally is, is not included in it uh, because you have an interview typically. So COIP portal generally is included for uh, those courses where direct admission is taken through gate generally. But again, sometimes IISC, even they are taking interviews and include it into COIP. So it depends on the college. It is different for co each college. So you need to open the website of each college where you're applying and then accordingly see wherever uh, they ask for COAP number, do provide that. Like for example, IISC, they have uh, started the application for their masters already and uh, even without COAP number, you can apply for the courses over there and they are saying that you can update the COAP number later on. So anyways, whatever dates are being given by individual institute, you need to follow that. So that's the procedure for IITs and COAP. Now coming to NITs particularly, so earlier SPS also were included in the you know, of this year. So uh, the official notification for SPI admissions is not yet out. For SP, so it is expected this year. So till last year, if I tell you, SPI Delhi had their own admission procedure. SPI Bhopal and Vijayawada had 50% of their seats through CCMT. CCMT is the next point we are going to discuss. And the next 50% of the seats, they had their own procedure of interview and application process. But it is expected. Now, there's no official notification yet, but it is expected that all the three SPS will be having a common admission procedure this year. Uh, however, we'll need to wait for an official notification and the official release of the interview dates and test dates. Uh, probably if it is a common admission procedure, you can go to any SPA which is nearby your place and then attend. But then we don't have the official notification yet, so we need to wait for it. Uh, but it is expected that SPA Bhopal and Vijayawada might move out of CCMT if that happens. So we'll need to wait. There's no official notice yet. So once there is an official notification in that regard, we will have a discussion probably on that again and we will at least put out a video at minimum we'll put out a video on our youtube channel or something we'll stay connected we are always here to help you out on any clarity of these uh, aspects uh, also in the due course of the session any questions you have feel free to put it into the chat if i don't take up your question right away i'll at least take up at the end of the session uh, psus at least this year gupta there are no psu notifications yet at this point of time uh, if there is any notification, we'll let you know, but that would be expected from Airport Authority of India. But at least this year, till now, there is no notification for requirement through gate 2025. As far as NITs are considered, uh, the admission into NITs is based through CCMT. Now, CCMT is not an acceptance portal. It is a uh, centralized counseling portal. So CCMT for uh, basically admission into MTech, MR, and M plan into these NITs, IIEST Shippur, IIEST also has M plan course in it. So that is in West Bengal near Kolkata. IIEST Shippur and also some other uh, government funded technical institutes which are abbreviated as GFTIs. Uh, they offer admission through CCMT. Uh, now CCMT is, the dates of it are not yet out. This is a counseling portal, not an acceptance portal, like I said. And CCMT is not a free uh, portal. Like COAP is a, is, a, is a portal where you can freely uh, take the registration number and apply into IITs. You need to pay application fee for individual colleges. But here in NITs, you need not pay application fee for each individual NIT. Uh, you just need to pay the application fees for CCMT. Uh, the official brochure for CCMT is not yet out. It is expected in the month of June, so it will take some time. One, once the notification for CCMT is out, we'll share a, a message to all the students who are uh, already uh, in, uh, connected with us. Uh, We'll talk about the marks and discussion on it, Salma, in a while. Uh, this is just a overview first. So uh, as far as NITs, you can get it, go, get into it. And also IIEST, you can get it into it through CCMT, which is a portal. Other than uh, COAP and CCMT, you have SPS, which are expected to take a common, have a common admission process, like I said. But again, there is no official notification yet. So for SPS, there will be a separate process, probably. Uh, but remember, uh, even in SPS, it, uh, the gate, gate qualified scores or gate score will be given a weightage in the admission process. That has been always the case. Even earlier too, SPA Delhi had a 30% weightage at least for gate score. So that is expected to be carried on. And moreover, uh, scholarship to all the students in SPS will be provided only if you're gate qualified. So gate has its role uh, and also a major role. Uh, but there will be additional steps also involved for SPA application. 
but once the official notification is out only then we can have a discussion on it other than that cuet and pgeta cuet examination of this year is already completed the results are expected probably next month uh, so the C there are some colleges to cuet as well central colleges will discuss about that in due course of time pgeta the notification of pgeta for this year is not yet out uh, probably it will be in the month of july so we are still having time for it 